Understanding Cubism, the Fourth Dimension in Art We live in a three-dimensional world, and our brains are trained to see three dimensions, height, width, and depth. However, several hundred years ago, physicists and mathematicians postulated a fourth dimension, a one that we cannot comprehend or process in our brains. Mathematically, the fourth dimension refers to time as another dimension, along with length, width, and depth. It also refers to space and the space-time continuum. For some, the fourth dimension is spiritual or metaphysical. And not until the 20th century did artists begin to rebel against the academical approach and the linear perspective that were heavily influencing art in the Renaissance period. For revolutionary artists such as Pablo Picasso, three dimensions were not enough and his dreams were bigger than our world. So he decided to create a fourth dimensional world where his paintings could sublime. And this is how Cubism as we know it now came to existence. Cubism grew from Picasso and his attempts to capture the concept of the fourth dimension, specifically what our 3D universe might look like from the perspective of four-dimensional being. In its early stages, Picasso's cubism was merely based in distorted and abstract shapes and cubes that were influenced by the African and Assyrian art. However, by time, cubism was profoundly influenced by Einstein's theory of relativity and artists would show views of the same subject from different viewpoints, views that would not normally be able to be seen together at the same time in the real world. Cubists painted their subjects based not on how they saw them, but on what they knew of them from multiple perspectives.